Uh, this one is for my sister because I thought that I wrote this poem because I studied geological environmental engineering. It helped me win the Nerd Slam in Toronto. Thank you for that. Uh, but actually, I wrote this poem. She kindly reminded me because she lost a bet, and I'm the big sister. Uh, <laughs> She lost a bet to a geologist, and the bet was that she could eat a whole box of cinnamon toast crunch in one go. I don't know if there was a time limit. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. <laughs> yes, it sounds like a long time. We had three brothers, so you think like I still eat meals like that. I'm like, it's gone. Uh, so I wrote this poem for my sister, Inga. Give it up for my sister. <laughs> Where there are now mountains, you tell us how minerals join together to make rocks, you tell us of transformation beyond imagination. See, in the amazing rock cycle, rock becomes sediment. Sediment becomes rock. When rock is metamorphosed, transformed in shape, color, and form, even at its most basic unit, the most obvious of unbelievable change takes place. And we too can change, metamorphically. Or at the rate of wind and water wearing down our hard, rocky layers over time to expose what lies beneath. I've learned to study myself like a scientist, to drill down every day in the log core and take note of what comes up. It's sometimes gratitude. Sometimes something dense and heavy, overwhelmingly muddled with clay. There's a lifetime of work here, geology, dear. As I map out the course of your influence on my thoughts, I see you've left a mark. More than a line drawn in the sand, more than a mud crack on the rock surface. You are a rock upon which I stand, and you've taught me to rock and roll. Even though rocks don't usually roll. Unless there's enough momentum of sorts, the kind that carries time of pebbles a little along a riverbed, giving them shape depending on their size. This guy Hillstrom mapped it out once. Grain size versus kinetic energy, showing us that when there's not enough energy to carry something, it's dropped. Kind of like with us. Do you know how much I've left behind? Like the field of geological environmental engineering, for example. Can you tell I've studied it, worked backwards from first principles to ask myself this question, what does a poet do with that? <laughs> I'm asking you to turn over every rock and look for metaphor revealed in natural processes, to build bridges between disciplines, expand constructs and ideas, and share with a kind of love for these ways. And by the way, you're hot like magma. You're as intriguing as a stromatolite. You make me want a Canadian shoot myself against your Hollywood ways. But please, don't make me wait eons to see you. So yeah, rock on. Yeah.